Hello everyone and welcome to do-it-yourself ideas. Today I'm going to show you how to do this cool batik effect with watercolors. And I'm going to show you what you need and how to do it now. To do our batik effect we're going to need watercolors naturally and I have red, purple, green and blue and we need two containers of water, a big one and a small one where I'm going to rinse my brush. We need a brush and we also need kitchen paper and small rubber bands and I have these really tiny ones that are yellow and orange so I'm gonna grab two of them here we go so first we're gonna start by grabbing our kitchen paper and we're gonna grab it from the, the middle so we're gonna measure it and calculate and then we're just gonna pinch the middle and this is what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna grab our band and we're gonna put it here and do a triple or double knot. And once that's ready, I'm gonna grab the second band and I'm gonna put it a little below that like this here we go and I'm gonna tie also a double or triple knot and you can choose however many bands you want to use in this case I'm using only two and I'll have three sections to color in different colors but you can choose more and you'll have more colors so it's up to you and then we're gonna put our kitchen paper on the water and let it sink for a little bit then we'll take it out and we'll squeeze it and rinse it and the colors will stay better on the paper if we get it wet that's why we're doing this and then we're gonna dip our brush in water and we're gonna start by coloring the paper and I'm gonna use the blue color first And the color stays better when the paper is damp and a little wet. And then we're gonna switch to the other color, which is purple. And I'm gonna color the second part. And finally we're gonna go on to our third color and I chose red and I changed the brush for a bigger one because it's easier. And now we have all of our paper colored, all the sections are ready, and now it's time to cut the bands. So I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut right here. And you can also untie it, you don't need to use the scissors, but it's way faster to do it this way. So here we go and we can start unfolding our paper. And we gotta be careful not to break it. And here we go. We have our masterpiece ready. This is how you do a batik effect, but now we only need to let it dry for a little bit. So here is my masterpiece dried. And I think it looks amazing. I love this batik effect. 
and let me know what you think of this video. Thank you for watching Do It Yourself Ideas. I hope you liked this video. If you would like to watch more, please visit my channel and subscribe for free and be the first one to know when new videos are posted. Share this video with your friends and see you next time!